Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and get right into making this beanie. So our next row is a row of single crochets. I have 66 double crochets going around. If you're new to making a beanie and don't quite know how to make the crown yet, I do have a more detailed video on how to make the crown of your hat. So you can go ahead and pause and go back to one of those videos where I'm making a ruffle hat or just a hat in general. So I made my way around and my last row was a row of double crochets. So I have a total of seven rows and I started with some half double crochets and then made double crochets all the way around. So the next step is to make a rows of single crochet. You're going to make three rows of single crochets and I'll be back. Okay. So now if I'm going too fast here, you can go ahead and pause, make your three rows of your single crochets, but I'm at the end of my row here, and now we're going to move on to the next section. The next section of the hat are our back post single crochets. So we're going to make one back post single crochet in each of our single crochets going across. Make sure that you use your stitch marker. Well, you don't really have to because it kind of, you can tell where your first stitch starts when you make your back loop single crochet. So that's your front loop and that is the back loop. For those who don't know how to do that, go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over and pull up your loop and make a single crochet, crochet, just like you normally would if you were going through both the loops. So I'm going to continue making my way across, around. You're going to make one row of half of single crochets in the back loop. So now I have my one row of single crochets into the back loop. That is what that looks like. I love making those because it makes it look, <clears throat> it makes it look really nice. It makes the loops look really nice. So now we're going to move on and we're going to make another row. We're going to continue on with our hat. So since we've made our single crochets going all the way around, we're now going to go into the next stitch. So now go ahead and chain two. And now we're going to go into our cross stitch. So with your cross stitch, you have to skip this first stitch, make your double crochet, and then go back into the stitch that you skipped with another double crochet. And that's simply your cross stitch. You don't have to skip any stitches. Make one all the way across. You're going to skip the next stitch. Go into the next stitch with a double crochet and then go back into the skip <clears throat> the stitch that you skipped and make another double crochet. I'm making my last cross stitch here. And that's what that looks like. So now we're going to move on to the next section. Our next section is going to be a row of, of, of single crochets. So you're just going to go into each of your double crochets that you made with a single crochet. Make sure you put your stitch marker in so you know where you are, where your first stitch is. And then go into the next double crochet. And you're just going into each, not in between the stitches, but right into those double crochets going across. So when you get to the end, now we're going to do two rows of back loop single crochets. So each of your stitches, you're going to make two rows. So Put your stitch marker back in after you make your first stitch and then continue making your way around and make two rows of back post single crochets. So that's what I have here. Now we're continuing on. We're at the end of that row and now we're going to make another, we're going to make our bean stitch. So go into your stitch and pull up a loop like you're making a single crochet. Go back in again and then yarn over and go back one more time and then yarn over and you're going to come through five 
loops. You should have six on your loop. I have two strands here, so it might look like more, but I'm counting two as one. So you yarn over and pull through five, leaving two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and then chain one. And you do the same thing again. Go into the stitch, yarn over, pull that loop up nice and high. And you're gonna do that three times. Yarn over and pull through. You have two on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and chain one. And just repeat that all the way around. And I'll meet you back at the beginning. So as you can see, I ran out of yarn here. I went, I lost that yarn chicken. So I went ahead and switched it out to my green. So I'm at the end of the row now. And we're going to make another row of this bean stitch. But at the end of your row, you want to make a single crochet. I'm sorry, this is the beginning of the row. Because at the end, you're going to skip the stitch and go right into that first where you made your first single crochet before you made your bean stitch. So now we're going to make another row of our bean stitch. We've already made a single crochet. So now when you look at your bean stitch, you see like a pole, not a pole, but you'll see there's a section here on this side and a section on this side. You don't want to go into this side because it'll leave a gap. You want to go into this side, not here, but the other side. right into this hole here with your with another bean stitch so it's the same thing do not yarn over go right into the stitch and yarn over and pull up your loop and just like you did before go in three times making sure you're yarning over pull through five yarn over pull through two and chain one Okay, so now I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to take my hook out here so you can see what that looks like. It's coming all along just fine. Now it is a little longer than the other hat because it is a thicker yarn. So now I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to make this last bean stitch here. And we're going to move on. So now all we're doing is making two single crochets into each of these sections in the same section that you made your bean stitch in between that bar. You're going to make two single crochets in each. Now it might look like it's a lot, but it really isn't a lot. Just make two single crochets going around. So then when you're done, this is what the hat should look like. I did not make three rows of single crochets because it was just too much. It was coming down too low and because the yarn is kind of thick. So as you can see, I repeated what I had in my hat. I'm going to show you what it looks like on my head. So this is what it looks like with all of our bean stitches. And as I said, it came down pretty low, but I'm okay with that. I can take out a row if I want to, or take out a row of bean stitches. But here are those back loop, single crochet back loop, and the cross stitches. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Enjoy making your hat. Bye. -bye.